It's a day after an activity-packed weekend here at Jamestown in Accra. Out here, littered on the walls and poles are obituaries of the young and the old. But this announcement by President Ekufaru is already causing apprehension. Until further notice, funerals, weddings, concerts, theatrical performances and parties are banned. Private burials with no more than 25 people can take place with the enforcement of the social distancing, hygiene and mask wearing protocol. One of the community leaders, Ni Amawulu, who is also the acting chief fisherman here, has just returned from a family gathering to figure out the way forward. All our schedules have been disrupted. We should have been given some time to put our house in order. He is frustrated all the arrangements have been affected, including non-refundable payments made for catering services. There is a funeral and a wedding slated for this weekend. For 300 guests, all our financial commitments towards them are now in vain. This is the community center here in Jamestown which hosts parties, funerals, weddings and what have you. A scheduled funeral for this weekend cannot take place obviously due to the restrictions that have been imposed on such gatherings. Now, on there is a poster, some of the funerals that are scheduled to come off the residency, all their financial commitments for such events have gone waste. What becomes of these events, they ask. On a notice board here is obituary for 94-year-old fetish priestess, whose funeral is slated for Friday, February 19. Niyama will wonders how a huge funeral like this will be conducted with 25 attendees. <laughs> This is a huge funeral of our priestess. More than 5,000 guests will be in attendance. Now it's all in limbo. More than 800 meters away from here is a home of 40-year-old Joseph Kwe, whose funeral is scheduled for 13th February. Joseph Lati admits all arrangements have been scuttled. <laughs> My brother is to be buried on the 13th. We have planned to give him a befitting farewell. But here we are. Even the family members alone are more than 100. While some families worry about the impact of a ban, some say it is a step in the right direction. Adelaide Amate is one of them. I agree to the cap on private burials. No mass church services, no large parties, no large crowds. I come, Mama, I say, again, say, say, for family of 37-year-old Emmanuel Dompre, who was killed during post-election violence in the Ododododio constituency, a final meeting on Tuesday, 2nd February, would help determine what happens to the funeral arrangements expected to come off on February 6. Komla Adum, TV3 News, Jamestown.